Hi, everybody. James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro. We're ready to go. I know you're ready to go. Let's drop the puck. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Aces start with possession as we are now underway. Goes right to the crease. Big save. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. The Aces take possession here in the open ice. And he takes a shot. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Cutting to the slot. And he regains control of the puck. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Beatington's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Kopitar's hockey IQ helps him with the defensive side of the game, guys. His quick pick zone ability means he can read the play and pick off passes. Moves with the puck at the corner. Here's a chance. Scores! What finish! It was like the puck was on a string. So good in that position where you drag the defender in tight where they think they've got a real chance to stop the play. And then you make one more move. What a great play and a great finish. Such a great puck handler. He's able to stick handle through the tightest of spaces, pulls the defender out of position, and then scores, beats the goalie clean. Guys, we all know he's good at stick handling, and that was a great example of it. That puck on a string zone ability buys him some space and allows him to get one on the board. You just love to see it. His reflexes on display tonight. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off as the rest lost sight of the puck. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Aces take possession in the defensive end. Can't get a hold of that pass. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Kane's become a 200-foot player. Coaches love to talk about guys that are effective at both ends of the ice. If you are, you'll be on this list of plus-minus leaders. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The icing would have worn them down. That's a big face-off win for them. Indianapolis is in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. More than half the period left to play. Indianapolis leads it 1-0. Offensive zone face-off, and he wins the draw. And a strong effort on that play. Wheeler's got the puck from the back end. And he denied that opportunity. Finnington's in. He scores! Well, the momentum is clearly switched now, James. Back-to-back -back goals for them. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. McLeod's won the draw. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Heads to the back of the net. Here he is from the slot. He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And a great save! Dawes has the puck and holds on for a whistle. McLeod's played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it.
And with the two setters tangle up, the winger skates away with it. And they get that puck down the ice. In close! He scores! Make that four straight! They seem stunned. Like they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Indianapolis has added to their lead. They're now up by four. It's looking like a blowout now. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Here in the back half of this period, it's been a route thus far. 4-0 is where we're sitting. The Aces win the draw. Once you ice the puck, you got a few fatigued guys on the ice. This draw is important. Indianapolis with possession in their own zone. Right on the doorstep. Here he is in close. Oh, what a save in front. Smith made an act. He scores! Oh, the old double dip makes this a fantastic night for you. You know it's your night. You're feeling it. And now he's got two. I think this goalie's going to look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. It's going from bad to worse for these guys. Centers are set. Face-off ready to resume play. Indianapolis is quick on the draw. And not much on that one. Grabbed along the board by Goudreau. Denies him again! These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Kane's got great hands. His puck on a string zone ability means he can stick handle his way into scoring chances. Connor's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Indianapolis moves ahead with the puck. Here we go, on man rush. And he makes the save. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Aces gain possession in their own end. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Indianapolis has played near perfectly tonight. They're in the right place to smother any attack up the ice. Great four check by Kopitar. Great poke by Kane. The Aces take it along the wall. That's a textbook save by Smith. Indianapolis takes hold of the puck. Puck grabbed by Mahura. Indianapolis has it in the offensive end. Scores! Oh, he's money close to the net. Pucks on his stick, pucks off his stick. And it's in the net with the accurate shot. He's just so accurate from that distance, guys. It's his close quarter superstar ability, and he can do some damage when he gets in tight to the net like that. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Off the outside of the iron! Indianapolis jumped early and has controlled this game as they're in a big lead right now. That shot hits the pipe and stays out. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. And that's turned aside. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Hey fans, we have a car on the east lot with its lights on. SV 4494. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan.
Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Indianapolis would have had a really positive locker room in that first intermission, James. They did everything right. They had the puck the whole time, and they scored frequently. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Connolly. Indianapolis has it in their own zone. Goudreau's got it on the offensive end. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Moves it to Connolly. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Indianapolis gains a hold of possession. Canes picking up momentum through center. Here they are on the attack. What a save by Smith. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Goodrow's shot doesn't need much time to be unloaded. So even in a tight spot, he's able to deliver it accurately on goal. As a result, he's in among the top ten in goals again. The Ducks win the draw. And now he tries to get it across to Connolly. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Dawes has stopped what he's had to, but it's been an easy night. Not much work in a big lead. Odd man rush, and that one's broken up. Anaheim's playing it through the neutral zone. Ekblad's got it against the boards. Moves it quickly over to Gardner. Indianapolis plays it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Couture. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Nice zone entry from the right side. Skates across the blue line. Here's the pass. And that one's broken up. Feeds it over to Zucker. Shot. Denies him on the play. From the left side, moves it up ahead. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. On the backhand. Score. tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. Indianapolis has continued this offensive onslaught. We still got half a game to play here, Razor. And that's a shame for the opponent, too. They're not able to keep up at any level tonight. This is a laugher at this point. Taken along the wall by McLeod. The Ducks gain possession. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Smothered that in close chance. To the front. Glove save and the puck moves on. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. And that pass can't connect. Zucker's swooping in on the attack. Here's a chance with the stop. Seeing has got the puck in his own zone. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Referee Shilovac's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Aces are off to the box. Interference the call. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. Indianapolis wins the faceoff. Weber's got it through the neutral zone. Drives to the paint. Whoa. He scores. A shorthanded marker. I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. Uh, you'd expect that. The team's leading goal scorer finishes another one. Indianapolis has simply put Ray come to play tonight in a big way. There looks like such a disparity between the two teams. One team way better than the other. That's the way the first half of this game is played out. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Takes
takes it to the net. A chance in front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. That goes wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. All alone! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. And now it's grabbed by Kopitar. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. Sharp reaction save. And now it's over to Ayafalo. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Taken by Gardner. The Aces work it through center. Here's a shot, and that's broken up. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Feeds the puck over to Ekblad. And now it's grabbed by Connor. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's picked up in the defensive end. Across the line from center. Centering pass in front. McLeod's up at the box. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Donskoy is going to play it to the corner. The Ducks' man advantage comes to an end and not the result they were looking for, giving up a shorty. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. And now he angles it across to Ayafalo. Sends it in deep. Indianapolis has possession of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Puts it towards the net. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. From point blank. There's another stop. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Takes the feed. Whoa. Scores. Well, something to build on here. Yeah, you got a road to climb still, but I guess you don't give up. You keep plowing away. Maybe you get one. Maybe you grab another quick one and get yourself back into this. Anaheim's got one here in the second. They need many more to follow, though. Yeah, but they've got to start somewhere. I guess something positive, something to build on, but it's been a pretty rough game for them so far. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Wheeler's gonna serve a pair for interference. 19 minutes, 37 seconds. Kopitar's won it off the faceoff. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Hey fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. The Aces, penalty killers get off to a good start, winning possession here. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Anaheim's on the attack. Drives to the wow. sweet spot. Scores! You think that there's a one-set way to score in the power play. You find out in a hurry, it doesn't really matter where the puck moves. As long as it moves quickly, you're going to have a chance. The Ducks still have a lot of catching up to do, but they have something to build on now. Yeah, they do, and I think what they can look forward to is the buzzer is closer to the end oh, of the game. Oh, you went there, huh? And that's just out of reach. The Aces have it from the corner. Keeps hold of the puck. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Ducks will play it from the corner. And now he moves it to Horvat. Anaheim's on the attack. 
driving right to the front. Control's got it in the defensive end. They go on the attack through center. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Horvat's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, what a stop! Trying to exit the defensive zone. Knocked down at the blue line, still no luck. Yeah, no, try harder. Get it out. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Connor. Big save in front. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Too much congestion in front. He was locked in there. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. He scores! Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. He got possession from that puck battle and was able to go on and score there. That's his no-contest superstar ability, and that tenacity makes him such an effective player. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. This is always a fine line penalty. You're allowed a little interference, just not that much. The Ducks once again send out their power play unit. Most power plays I was on, James, we were all greedy. If you had one or two earlier in the game, you wanted three or four. It never lays down. And that shot dies in traffic. Oh, what another save! Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Couture's on this penalty minute leaders list again. I wonder if he ever gets tired of running himself into trouble. Anaheim's won the faceoff. That's off a stick. Puck scooped up by Grundstrom. Indianapolis is across the blue line. Puck picked up by Gardner. The Ducks have it against the wall. Quick feed to Eller. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick pass to Ayafalo. And that's blocked away. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Sprong. I have follow stick handling in his own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Let's it fly. That's turned away with the pad by Dawes. Now over to Gardner. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. That opportunity is rejected. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Kopitar's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Looks to make a play over to Nugent Hopkins. Maintains possession. There he is. He's got a step. Oh, man. Yeah, that wasn't very good. It looked like he was going to deke, and then he was going to shoot, and then he didn't either. Hangs onto the puck. Takes the feed at the point. Gets in front of it. Man, he's got great wheels. He gets outside and gets a lane to the net. You're not slowing him down. Good save by the goalie at the end of the play. Centering pass, and that's off a stick. Kopitar is working it around in the corner. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Weber's taking it from his own end. The Ducks take possession in the neutral zone. Couture is ready to join the play. Indianapolis has the puck. The Ducks come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. I liked everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. Everything about it looked really good. Indianapolis has it in the defensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Get that slop out of here. He makes the stop, and there's no rebound. Off in the corner it is. 
Nugent Hopkins works the puck in his own zone. Indianapolis looks to get things going now with the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's a chance on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. Cutting to the front of the net. How did he stop that one? Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Penalty coming up here. Kajovic is getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Anaheim's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power plays run hot and cold. If you've already got one in the game, which they do, go get another. Go get another. Be hungry. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Toss is going to slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Dallas is the date that looms next for these guys. Yeah, sometimes it's just a long marathon that you can never see the light at the end of the tunnel. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Puck grabbed by Couture. Here's a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Smith. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Here he is in front! And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Smith's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Aya follows looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Kopitar has won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Puts it on net. Denies it with the pad. Stalls lugging the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Ducks have it now. Ellers got the puck. Good penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. Every level of this team is frustrated here in this period. I mean, that's the third penalty they've taken. They're just pulling the air out of the game. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Kane's had a solid performance and has used his own ability to get things going, and it's reflected on the score sheet, guys. You know his coaches are loving this performance as much as I am. Indianapolis gains the zone. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Musa to follow. Can't get it to go. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Big time stop there. Indianapolis gets the puck near the boards. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Ekblad. He might have a step here. Aya follows, got it in the corner. Keeps possession. A chance right in front. Oh, there's one more. Indianapolis gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. Kajovic's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded as he joins the kill. Gardner's got it in the offensive zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Quick feed down low. Kajovic is looking to make something happen here in the corner. The Aces played along the boards. Cuts into the paint. Denies him in front. Anaheim's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Manages to hang on. Moves it quickly over to Donskoy. Makes the save. Indianapolis looks to break out in their own end. Let's it go, and that one's turned away. The Ducks gain control of the puck. The Aces take possession here in the open ice. The Ducks fail to capitalize on the power play. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. That's another penalty kill for them. They have done a tremendous job this evening killing penalties. At no point have they looked overly stressed. The Aces gain control of the puck against the wall. Anaheim.
Grimes got possession here in the neutral zone. Fails to find the open man. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Steps inside. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, what a slick stop by Smith. Oh, and it's another save on the play. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Nugent Hopkins wins possession in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Indianapolis has it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. He scores! My goodness, what a goal as he goes coast to coast. If you ever wondered what a confident player looks like, this is it. Look at him work his way through the entire team, confidently gets to the front of the net and puts it away. Oh, man, he's got this puck on a string. Most guys wrap the string around their own feet. This guy dangles his way through, loses the defender, and then puts it in the net. A beauty. Anaheim's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Break away! Off the crossbar! That's a quarter of an inch from bouncing off the bar in the net. As it is, they get nothing for it. the draw on their own end and they get the puck out Anaheim's got it in their own zone couldn't complete the pass that's all she wrote from this one Indianapolis is checking the boxes in every department finding ways to win every different way it's so fun to go back into the locker room and all you hear is win 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 that's all we do and that's what they're doing this has been a great streak well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.
Two teams craving points inside the NHL's Western Conference go at it here tonight on the ice. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro ready to go. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Aces start with possession as we are now underway. Makes a move in front. Just misses. What a chance. Right in the middle. Oh. Shuts him down. Nice pass. Indianapolis takes hold of the puck. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. An easy save by Leonard. The Canucks have it from their own end. Leonard's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. Moves the puck along the half wall. Textbook stopped by Halak. The Aces have it now. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Leonard. Gains the zone through the middle. Indianapolis has it near the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And that's denied by Leonard. Away from harm's way. That's a good save. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Slides the pass over to Dumba. Feeds it to Palat. Great reach with the poke check by Murray. Indianapolis moves it ahead. Moves inside! Scores! I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. Indianapolis, with his first period goal, takes the early 1-0 lead. Coaches love this when they can get in front in the first period. It allows them to use their whole bench to make sure nobody gets overworked. Score by number 28, Ryan Murray. Moves the puck down low. Takes it into the slot. Taken by McLeod. And now it's grabbed by Kopp. Moves it over to Rust. He's got a step. And that just falls apart. No way to recover from that. That's a good-looking play that leads to nothing. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Marchessault's got it along the wing. Sends a pass over. The Aces have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Indianapolis takes it across the line. McLeod's going to play the puck behind the cage. To the low slot. Indianapolis glides the puck behind the net. Big time stop. Picked up along the wall by McLeod. Rister, no room for that one to get through. Cops moving the puck through his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Rust. Passes it over to Marcheseau. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. And makes the save. Halak's going to cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Aces have taken a 1-0 lead. Steps up with the block. Siegenthaler's got the puck along the wing. Here's an off man rush. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Oh, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as My hard as he could. Goodness. Quick feed down low. The Aces gain possession along the wall. Edler's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air.
Yoshi's got that send it zone ability, which is when he throws a long breakout pass up the ice to get a teammate onto the attack. Kopitar's got a great stick and uses it to intercept passes, guys. His quick pick zone ability is what helps cause those turnovers in his favor. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Made that stop. Grabbed along the board by Stahl. Tries to the crease. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Murray's among the league leaders in plus-minus. I gotta be honest with you, James. This was a list I didn't get on very often. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. The Canucks move it ahead. Here's a blast! Comes up with the stop! The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Denies the shooter on that play. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Kopitar is gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Denies him! He got all of it! Stahl swinging the puck through center ice. Takes a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Leonard. Here's a short pass to Rust. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a chance. Big time glove saved by Halak. Gains the zone through center. Puts it on net. What a glove save by Leonard. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. McLeod's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Cops won a big draw on their own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Here's a chance in front. And that pass is redirected. Indianapolis gains possession under man. Slides the puck across to Palat. Cuts to the paint. Scores! And we're tied with a little special and special teams. Well, the power play comes through for them. They were working on it in the morning ski. Trying to get the puck from the point to the front of the net with a little more traffic. But that's just one variation. Here they're able to score. The game's tied. And we now have a whole new game to look at. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, to Nysom with the paddle save. And that's off a stick. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. And we are underway, still tied up here in the second. And there's the whistle icing the call. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Indianapolis moves ahead with the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes it to the front. Vancouver's got the puck. Svechnikov's gaining momentum. Across the line. Kane's taking the puck behind the net. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. It's almost like a slithery move into the traffic and around players. That's such a good skill. You gotta have patience to blind your way through. The Canucks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Halak. The Canucks have it now. Oh, another 
executive stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Into the offensive end now. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Palat's got him along the boards. Quick feed to Weber. Indianapolis moves it quickly along the wing. Takes a shot, and that's stopped by Leonard. Drives it to the crease. Oh, they do it again. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hurdle. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Pad save. He's on it tonight. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And not much on that one. Leonard's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. From the left wing, takes the feed. Good read with the stick to break that up. Referee's got his hand extended. He caught that trip right in front of him. The Canucks and their man advantage unit out once more. This is a confident power play group. They've already been on the board in this game, and they want more. You can just tell by how quickly they got out there. And he makes the save on that play. Stalls picking up steam. Skates to the crease. Oh, that just trickles wide. Oh, he doesn't miss by much. He just pushes it past the side of the net. Really close on an excellent chance. Takes it right in the chest. Kopitar's got the puck in his own zone. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Well, this team with another packed house here tonight, they've invested in the community, and it's really starting to pay off. You drag the fans and drag their interest into your team. If you play well, they start to come and enjoy themselves. This is the result. Looking to break out here on the power play. Across the line from center. broken up. Dumba's got it into offensive territory. The Aces have possession shorthanded. Here's a chance. Oh, surfs up waffles for dinner with that stop. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Slides it back to the blue line. They score! This is how it's supposed to work. I mean, it doesn't always work like this, but they look like they had a real sure idea about what they wanted to get accomplished on this power play. The man advantage comes through, and they've now taken the lead. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Canucks are looking to build on this one-goal lead. Siegenthaler's got it behind the net. He scores! Chips on the rebound and makes it count. Gets to the net, that's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. Official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Canucks win possession here in the open ice. Delayed penalty coming up here. Pushes it across to Palat. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delay penalty. Extra attackers out. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Wheeler's going off for interference. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. They've already been successful on the power play. No need to change anything but you can't lose the urgency that made it work earlier in the game. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Halak. Here he is in front. Too much.
much congestion, blocks the shot. Snaps one on net, takes that one right in the logo. And we're going to get a whistle here. Cops point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. McLeod's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's poked away by Marcheseau. Cutting to the slot. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Canucks have it against the wall. And he connects with the long bomb. Here he is, shot right in front. His reflexes on display tonight. Moves it on over to Stahl. Wrist shot from the slot. Great save by Leonard. Feeds the puck across to Marcheseau. Vancouver's ready to go on the attack. Here's an opportunity. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Kopitar is ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. The Aces take it along the wing. Wrist one in front. Slapped away by the blocker. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Oh, big time save by Leonard. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Now he takes it over the line. Indianapolis gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Leonard's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. Kopitar's great at reading the play and getting a good stick on the ice to intercept the puck, guys. That's just quick pick zone ability, and it's how he's able to disrupt the opposition's attack. Big time stop! Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Wheeler's ready to go. Denied by Leonard. Palat's moving it ahead. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, the penalty killers were on the same page that entire power play. They were in the right position. They pressured it the right time. And as a result, they had the puck so much. They had plenty of shots, even while they were a man down. To the front. Oh, a clutch save. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face off. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Gajevic. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. Shot on net. Oh, and there's a great save by Leonard. Couture sliding the puck behind the net. Here's an up. Scores! And they go up by one. Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. Pretty tough for the goaltender to go two ways. He thinks he's moving to the puck, but it hits the defender and goes in the net. Guys, he's got great balance, and here on this play, he maintains possession after being bumped by defenders. He ends up scoring the goal because of that determination and strength, which is his unstoppable force superstar ability. How did that stay out? It just misses. Great work to get themselves into position to shoot it. You gotta get it on the net. Man, it misses the net. It's not even a real chance. Jensen's got it along the boards. Here's a pass down low. Takes it to the net. Gives them nothing in front. Here he is with the backhander. He scores! A finish length of period seems to carry over into the next period more often than not. What a great time to score. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. Guys, I like how 
Jordan used his superstar ability to set up that goal, and he skates away with the assist there. That's a great example of how effective he can be. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. Vancouver's won it. The Canucks are on the attack. Bristol in close. Let's see what the officials are calling. Kopitar is going off for interference. Another scoring opportunity looms here. This power play isn't going to go in any coaching manuals. Now, they've scored and had a little bit of success, but it's been ugly for large stretches of their previous ones. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! Indianapolis is in the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Picking up some steam at center ice. Receives the pass. Stones him in front. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. The Aces ready to go on the attack. Here comes the goaltender to play the puck outside the crease. Stahl's got it in the defensive end. And not much on that one. Leonard's able to handle that shot with no problem. He scores! Even under man, they deliver. That's a sloppy play by the power play. But shorthanded, they get aggressive, they get up the ice, and are able to score while down a man. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. The Aces have really opened it up here in the third period. Impressive offensive performance. It's coming from everybody. They've kept their foot on the gas. It's been in a relentless offensive attack. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Another penalty for them, and the frustration just isn't on the penalty. It's on the guys that don't kill penalties. They never get on the ice. The Canucks could really open things up with a five-on-three power play. Some good, some bad. It's been a pretty average night for the power play, but they'll get another chance here. Indianapolis has it in their own end. Seeing Dollars stick handling in his own zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Indianapolis has it behind the cage. Here's a shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Leonard. Gains the zone from the right. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. The Canucks with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. These five on threes of this length don't come around very often here. What a great opportunity for them. Oh, that goes awry. Man, they create the scoring chance, and it's a good one, but they don't get it on the net. Indianapolis is on the attack. Takes a wrist shot. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The frustration is just all over this bench as they take yet another penalty. Kills any momentum they might have. And after that last penalty, the five-on-three rolls on. The coaches were talking to the power play about don't be too cautious. Get the puck on goal early. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. 
From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, what a save by Leonard. Cutting to the front of the net. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Gains the zone. the save stops him again indianapolis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty scooped up along the wall by mcleod the aces go to work on offense vancouver's got the puck in their own end through the neutral zone now picking up steam Indianapolis will try to break out here shorthanded. Down the right side and into the zone. Murray's got the puck. Wrist shot from the slot. Great stop by Leonard. Here he is on a breakaway. Oh, what a save. Really good effort. I thought it made a, a good play on the net, but the goaltender's right on top of it. Driving right to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Rodriguez is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Here's a chance. And a great save! The Aces play it along the boards. Indianapolis on the attack. Stays with it. Taken along the wall by Siegenthaler. Miller's penalty has expired, but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the kill. A chance! And makes a save. And now he tries to get it across to Rodriguez. Here we go. Break away. Denied! I don't know what more could be done there. That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. The Aces will play it from the defensive zone. Gardner's got it on the offensive end. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Maintains possession. Pass to Marcheseau. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Slides the puck down low. Snaps it on net. Big save. Good throws up and ready to join the play. He scores! What a counterpunch shorthanded! Teams are talking more and more about being aggressive when they're down a man. This is the result. Every once in a while, you're going to punch one through shorthanded. Really good backhand shot here. He got into the low slot and really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going. He's been playing with confidence, and on that goal, he used his superstar ability to his advantage, guys. That's a great example of how effective he can be when he gets to play his game. Indianapolis takes possession of the neutral zone. The Canucks certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Scores! I think this goalie's gonna look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. 
It's going from bad to worse for these guys. Indianapolis is having one of those nights, Ray. Sometimes it just all goes right for you. That means it doesn't go very well for the other guys as well. This has been a long night for them. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. And the frustration is just seeping through this team now as they take yet another penalty. The Canucks once again send out their power play unit. It's kind of nice if you have a power play goal already in the game, which they do. Make sure the confidence continues to build and you try and get another. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Nice zone entry from the middle. And he comes up with it. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Grundstrom's got it deep in the offensive end. Snapper from the slot. He scores! Pretty bold play to get out and score a shorthanded goal. You've really pushed the other team backwards with this marker. That's a good shot. He zips it by the goaltender, but he works himself into a clean area on the ice to shoot this from the high slot. Indianapolis has finally given their coaches something to smile about because they like to nitpick a lot, usually. Well, we hear from them before the game, and they're always something that they're critical of because they want to be a better team. Tonight, I don't know how they could critique this. Here's a chance behind the net. And that's knocked away by Svechnikov. Tries to feed it over to Kopp. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Denies them in close. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Indianapolis has it in the defensive end. Into the offensive zone. Vancouver's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And serves up a little knock on the play. The Aces have it now. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it to Svechnikov. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Stahl. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Rodriguez is ready for the faceoff as we are about to resume this power play. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Siegenthaler. All alone! Easily turned aside by Halak. Indianapolis takes hold of the puck. Here he is in close! And he regains control of the puck. Oh, he scores! Does that give them some hope? Maybe, kinda, sorta? They've really given up a ton of goals tonight. Vancouver's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Couture's won it. And they fail to go tape to tape. Indianapolis steps inside. From the slot! And that's blocked. From point blank range! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Puck grabbed by Wheeler. Denies him again. Scores! Blake Wheeler. You can see the goaltender's looking a little frustrated here. He got a little piece of this shot. Not enough. It goes into the net. Indianapolis has been in the fast lane all night long. Just simply look at the scoreboard. A lot of people have gotten right offensively for them in this game. They have dominated this since the very beginning of the first period. Puts one on net. Love save made by Halak. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The setters will glide into the dot. Vancouver's won the draw. 
takes the feet at the back end. Here's a chance! Denies him with the save! He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Manages to hang on. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. In the third period. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Aces move the puck in the defensive zone. Indianapolis is across the blue line. That's not going to fool him. Primo's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Carlin Bay is standing by with who had the better night. Kopitar's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Gains the zone through the middle. Indianapolis looks to move the puck from their own end. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. They've got all the answers right now. The winning streak continues as they find a way to win again. There's the old cliche, right? Good teams find ways to win. Bad teams find ways to lose. They can't do anything wrong these no, days. No, when there's a turning point, James, they find a way to be on the positive side of it. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.
Franchise Mode.